welcome to today's tutorial um, on uh, CompuFoil 3D software. My name is Steven Yampolsky and I'll be walking you through basic operation of uh, CompuFoil. Um, CompuFoil is a software uh, that uh, one can use to generate a set of ribs for a wing. Uh, the software can be purchased online and uh, I'll go over the details of that uh, in, an, uh, in another tutorial. But today we're going to do a quick example, a quick demonstration on how to generate a set of ribs for a, um, a simple wing. So, let's start the software. All right, and uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on Gen Ribs to generate the ribs. Uh, we're going to enter the panel is so the panel is a half a span of the entire wing. So if we want to build a um, twister-like straight wing, let's say it's going to be 48 inches total, so it's 24 inches for a panel. Each panel is going to contain uh, seven ribs. Uh, we're going to use a regular uh, standard stunt airfoil, the 18% NACA symmetrical airfoil and the uh, the inboard and outboard cord is going to be a straight wing so let's give it a um, uh, nine inches at the root and nine inches at the tip okay this is our fault we can uh, now look at the uh, top view of the wing or individual or at the rib view you can switch around by clicking on a plan view or in a template uh, so let's switch back to the plan view. We're going to leave it here for a little while. Uh, first thing is uh, we're going to use a sheeted wing, uh, sheeted leading edge. Uh, the sheeting is going to be uh, 1 16th, which is 0625 of an inch. We're going to set up uh, the, by default, when you first uh, set it up, it comes with a leading edge. Um, stock of a quarter inch. We're going to leave it at that. We're going to set up a trailing edge stock and that's also going to be a quarter inch and um, uh, whether we want to, we're going to sheet, put a trailing edge sheeting right over it um, just so you can have an uninterrupted surface and to do that you just check off the reference from the sheeting surface. So okay, here's a trailing edge uh, we're going to generate the spars now. Let's do uh, snap to the highest point, to the thickest point of the um, rib. And uh, we're going to use a quarter inch spars all around. So it's a quarter inch at the root, quarter inch at the tip. And there's a spar. And we are uh, the only thing we have left is to generate lightning holes, uh, but to see those we want to switch to the side view. And that, and at this point we can just select lightning holes. Um, I like to do uh, about a quarter, in, uh, one quarter inch thick, and the uh, and the radius, uh, the corners of when. Uh, uh, for the for the lightning holes, we're going to give it a point two, and here we go. So this is this is what the ribs look like. If I just here's a cut, here's a typical cutout. All right. So at this point, ready to save. I'm going to save it. Uh, let's save it as. Here we have a project. Uh, very quickly, uh, on the bottom of the application, there's some quick information. You have seven ribs. We're going to use uh, a 16th sheeting. The root cord, the tip cord, the airfoils used, and another useful is a semi-span surface area. 
that would actually be your total wing area if you use uh, both inboard and outboard panels of the same length. If if uh, if your inboard is a little bit longer, uh, this number is probably going to be a little bit different, but still in the ballpark. So if somebody asks you how big is the the wing, you can easily round this up and say it's about 450 square inches. Um, and this is, uh, this is a, a quick overview of how you can generate ribs in CompuFoil. And here's our nice wing.